Okay, this is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot, PrinterBot.com, and we're going to continue assembling the PrinterBot. And I'm trying to give you a lot of detail here, so we're taking our time. But there's some parts that uh, I need to explain here. As we've built, we have iterated and improved. And so, first thing I want to show you is this is called the X motor. And if you've printed the parts so far, um, this is a, a junk piece that's split. So this is my example. Um, this is as close as I can find easily to the old version of the part. Um, this is the X motor. And uh, the difference here, you'll see that we're missing one of the, um, one of the holes that used to be back here. Um, so this is, this has changed and become this part. Now the two additions, I didn't carve out this, but uh, you'll see a couple, of, a couple of things have changed. First of all, uh, we've added this little end stop holder right here, which I'll we'll show you how that works. Um, we have eliminated one of the screw holes um, here, so it's going to be a three screw mount. And we've also added down here, you'll see, um, there's a hole for the Z end stop. As this moves up and down, there'll be a screw hold that. So this part has changed a little bit, and I'll rev these parts on uh, thing of, Thingiverse. Um, but I wanted to show you the difference between the old and the new. So this is uh, the telltale. Whoops! The telltale sign here is uh, this little guy right here. Now, what this does is it actually holds the end stop. Now I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this very well, but there's a little bump here on the top, and it almost looks like a mistake. But what that is is it holds that middle guy right there really tight so that when this is uh, mounted it sits down in this little groove and we're going to zip tie this and the zip ties go through those teeth right there and so let me show you how it works so okay so I'm going to go down through the top on this end stop and we're going to point the uh, the switch itself is going to point uh, forward, so uh, that tab is like that. So I'm going to get these in there. Let's see which way is it going to go. All right, we're going to go like this. Got to remind myself of the cheater part over here. Whoa! Whoops! Sorry. Got my iPhone hanging from my glyph. The first, uh, the reason I found out about Kickstarter was the glyph, and that's holding my iPhone. I <laughs> just bumped it. So it's going to go like that. These are going to wrap around. Like so. I'm just going to get this started and get the other one going. Where to put these end stops really bothered me for a long time because I hate unsightly things on my bot. And uh, okay, so that is right where it's going to mount. Tighten this one. Ah, you know what I did? I got that wire. That's all right. Try that again. I don't want to squeeze that wire in there. Try that again. I did put extra zip ties in the kit because, man, you can never have enough zip ties. Now, I like to keep these zip ties really, really tight against it because it's going to be our pull. So instead of fiddling around with screws, we've got that. Now, because we added that little bump on the top, it's going to hold it from wobbling. And this thing is really tight. And the, uh, these little teeth down here hold it in little grooves. So this ends up being a really elegant solution. It does get really close over here. Um, but not so close that it's going to be a problem. 
So that is our end stop. Now, the reason I wanted to show you um, the old part is because if you do have the old part, um, this will still work. So let me grab this. This is my uh, example. I, I had tons of these end stops, but I just thought I'd grab this one. So this doesn't have the wires, but I wanted to show you that it still works on here. All you have to do is put it in the same location because I've got a fix I'm going to show you for the old uh, X carriage and how that's all going to work. Oh, I guess I can't hold on to anything. So this will be in a slightly, only like a couple of millimeters different than what I just showed you if you've got the old part. So pull this over as far as you can um, and instead of resting on that bump this will be usually is right about there. It'll be down just a little bit but you'll still be able to catch that end stop. So like this. Goodness. There we go. So you're going to move that end stop over right where it should go. And you can see even though we don't have that little helper, I mean this could move so really cinch it down really good. Um, this will still work for your end stop. It doesn't have quite as much, you know, the difference between the two is this is pretty solid and this has some flex but not bad. But they end up being mounted in the same place. So that is the X end stop. You can see how that works. So I'm going to put this part aside here. Now for the, the Z end stop, if you have an old part, um, it's going to be a little more difficult um, to have a fix. You're going to want to print something to hold your screw. And uh, maybe I can use, I don't know, this one. I keep hitting that. Uh, you know, something blocky to hold this screw. And you're going to want to glue it to the bottom here so you can thread that screw right down in that corner. Uh, this thing is really not a lot of room. So you're going to want your end stop screw to end up somewhere in there. And uh, you, could, you could easily print yourself a little block on the bottom here and utilize uh, the X motor for both the X end stop and the Z end stop. But you're on your own for that one. I don't have a file. Although, I think that would work really well as a location. But on the new one, we've already incorporated that. So, we can put... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to drill that out. That's a little big. I might get away with it. So, one thing that I wanted to stress in this video that that a lot of these parts come and they're not perfect. Um, one of the things with these early 3D printers is um, they don't come out perfect. So you're going to have little ridges on the side here. You can clean it off with a knife. You know, safety first, move away from you. Um, you these holes, sometimes I clean them out like this. Sometimes I get a, an actual um, drill. But this should work. We'll see how it works. Hmm, we're good. So you want to be careful using power tools. Uh, you can easily over tighten um, using these power tools. So that's where this will end up. And uh, that's the new addition to the part right there. So that's going to click the uh, the end stop for the Z when we get this all together. But I wanted to show you the contrast between those two parts. Okay, so I'm going to pull this screw out because <clears throat> we're going to need the room to work in there. All right. So that's coming up in a minute. Now, in addition to uh, updating this part, we've also uh, done a slight update on the X carriage. Now, the X carriage here is a uh, 
a cool little part, um, but the early version that we released did not have a position for the end stop. So if you can imagine here, we'll get this together in just a second, but it rides right in there. And uh, this ended up being a good location. We got to make room for those belts. So it's right about there. So it's kind of tight fit. Well, what we ended up doing was we revved this part to include a simple little end stop holder. I mean, a screw for the end stop uh, screw hole here. So this may look um, kind of, uh, you know, like it's not very strong, but I assure you that is pretty strong. I, you know, I did fill it all in before, but it just made it ugly and was unneeded. So how this works is you'll get like a one inch screw, 632, and you'll screw that in. To the desired distance and I'll explain in a minute um, and this will come up and click that okay so that's how that's going to work so this is the new part now you will need um, let's see you could use a longer screw if you wanted to but um, I'm unsure yet before I get it together exact. I think that's a screw I used, but it might be a longer one. Anyway, so that's how that works. So that is a new part. So what are you going to do if you have the old part? You know, I have this. Where am I going to put, you know, that screw? Well, we did a retrofit on that. And so some of you might get a, a little piece that looks like this, a little L-shaped piece. And this little guy um, is... Just a simple retrofit. Uh, how's it going here? <laughs> Goes on like this. And if you're retrofitting, you can always print this part. I'll post it on Thingiverse. Um, I put one of these together the other day, and I noticed, yeah, that that hole's kind of close, um, you know, to the to the corner. And I probably should reinforce this a little bit. So you might want to bodge that out a little a little bigger. Uh, this little guy might crack if you're not careful. But uh, this switch is really, really dainty, and you're not going to need much force on it. But to keep your part from cracking, you know, you might want to bodge out a little bit. So I'll probably want to, um, before I put this together, I'm going to want to um, make that a little bigger because that little guy might crack. But I, what I really wanted to show you was how this goes together. So. This uh, fits right there where the screw normally goes together. So why don't we uh, 